Hey everyone, it's Tiffany from Let's Get Scrappy and I have a project to share with you. This is a tutorial that I already have on my channel. Um, I am going to be showing you guys some projects that are made with tutorials that I already have. Not that I don't always do that, but I have quite a few in a row because while I was sick, I was held up hostage in my craft room, which isn't a bad place to, you know, be hostage in. But I have a whole bunch of bases made and I just want to start going through them. So I was just like, okay, let's just start. So I do need to make um, a couple baby albums and folios. So I started with this one. This is using, it's an older collection. I did get it from Country Craft Creations just a little bit ago on sale. It's, it's a boy, but OMG, the new Echo Park collection came out and you guys are going to want to get this. I have not gotten it yet. I'm not sure if I'll be picking this one up just because I have so much baby, but I'm really dying and itching to get it. <laughs> but you want to hurry and get over there, but there's three different ones. So there is our baby and I just like this one. I absolutely love because I love that it gives you the months and it's in little squares. I had to make my own for this album. So, um, you know, just saying, let's go back. I don't know if you can, hopefully you guys can see this, but then they have our baby boy and it's so cute. It's kind of has a bohemian vibe to it, but of course, you know, bohemian with some safari animals, zoo animals. I don't know. I'm just trying to show you then the girl, our baby girl. Oh my gosh so stinking cute you can take all this and turn this book into that and just kind of follow the light patterns with dark patterns if you want to or do it your own however you want but i love this album um style for baby albums wedding albums i think that's pretty much what i use them for um i just i like how big you know, it's a good size, but still, you know, small to fit in your hand. But I love this one, so I will link the tutorial below. Um, I did, I had these videos ready to go last night. I filmed, well, I should say like 2 in the morning. But the lighting was so bad, I couldn't do it. I couldn't post it, so now I'm having to redo all the videos that I did last night, which I think was like 4. So here we go. And um, just bear with me because, again, I was sick, so I just want to make sure you guys know with my voice. <laughs> it doesn't always sound like this, but sometimes it does. I don't know. There's, like, when you listen back to old videos, which I try not to, I only do if someone asks a question, and hear, like, squeaky, pitchy Tiffany, and then the low <laughs> Tiffany. Oh, my gosh, it's terrible. Okay, but let's just get into this. So, I went overboard, as usual, with the matting. I did a poll on scrapbookers of country craft creations on Facebook. I asked the group, like, should I do the gold or should I do the teal, the kind of minty color? And it it was like, it's always, it's funny. It's pretty much like half and half. Well, Tiff just decided to use it all. And then I finally, I, I found a navy. So I have the white base, navy cardstock, this gold cardstock, and then the mint green that matches the collection. I did the matting in here. I just, I went crazy, but I love it. And then I took the four by four cut apart, matted that, then um, mounted it on just scrap chipboard. And then I have a chipboard piece here, which was like this one here. As you can see, I have one that's not open because I have way too much. Um, these three little buttons are from the sticker sheet, but I also used my, um, where is it? Let me grab it real quick. It is somewhere, it's this one, my, what is this, three-fifths, three, three-fifths, three oh, three-eighths of an inch, um, little circle punch, and just did that to mat it, and then these are stickers popped up on foam, here is the spine, and then the back here, so you guys are going to get, like, a lot of videos this weekend, so I'll just apologize now, because, you know, I was sick and out of commission, and I got to hurry and get these made because February, I travel every week, every week, I'm, yeah, let's just say every week, so, 
Um, I do have a silk ribbon here for the closure. Oh, I'm just going to flick that open. And then we have here, so we have a magnetic closure here. You don't have to do this at all. You can just leave it like a pocket, like so. Um, but just so you guys can see what I did. And this desk, ugh, I swear nothing's perfect. It's really, really shaky. So I'm, I'll apologize now for the camera shaking. Um, I'm just hoping this is better lighting than the past videos. I just, I do not like the lighting in my craft room. Um, but I have a large photo mat. I did do a few things different. So let me just measure in case I did not do these in the original tutorial. And tiff tip, if you do not know, when I do my photo mats, I just, I pick up what is on my table. <laughs> and that's how I decide, okay, it's big enough to do this size or whatever. But this is six and a half by seven. And then I do a 1 8 inch of a border, so then just so you guys can kind of get a gauge. So it's 6 and 3 8 by 6 and 7 8 for the actual pattern paper. And that just fits right into there. And you don't even have to do a pocket if you don't want to. You can make this your own, so go for it. This is four and three quarters, total weird size that I would never normally do. And this one is six. So like I said, I just grab things off my table, whatever is left. And then you have cute little photo mat. This is, oh, this one's not a booklet. This one is separate. And I was really trying hard to smash this stash. Let me just show you. It didn't work very well. It definitely did not work very well. I still have, ooh, sorry about that. I still have all this in here. Oh, Tiffany, just stop buying so much so you can actually smash a stash. <laughs> it's like impossible. Okay, then for the first page, and these are three different signatures. Again, if you want to make this your own, you could just do this one style all the way through or one of the other ones. You don't have to do it exactly like this. But, so there were a couple four by six cut aparts, um, vertical cut aparts in this collection. So I really, I thought they were really cute, but just in case, cause you know, you do also want to see pictures. So um, I did just place this in here as a, a picture hold spot, or the person can leave it in there and do the photos everywhere else. And I love, see, this is the problem when I move the camera. I don't move everything else with it. But I love this punch from Country Craft Creations. Um, I will check to see if it's still, if she still has it in her shop. But I, I love how big this sucker is. I love these big um, little photo, photo corners that it makes. But yeah, I just took the scraps again, whatever was left on the table. I do my embellishing all at the end because I want to use up all the little scraps as much as possible. So then it comes over here. Gosh, this is so shaky. I'm so sorry. And then I just have a sticker here. I did um, put some baby powder on the back and you can tuck a photo underneath here. And then you have um, opportunity for things. And I think I left this open. Yeah, so you could put something in the pocket here too if you just glue on three sides. So this is what I have. Um, it's just, I make up a whole bunch of these. I stamp them in all different colors and then I have it in my craft room in a drawer. So if I have a collection that does not have something that gives the months, then I can just make it myself and so can you. So for the large photo mats, Again, whatever scrap pieces are left on the table, table, but I do try to make it coincide with the spread that it pulls out of. So you have your second month here, and then we'll flip over. I'll just show you guys. Well, just so you can see the third month is there. Let's see how this flows going that way. I do, it doesn't really matter. It's not like you see it, but Tiff just likes to do that. And then um, as we go into this, just on a side note for these, I don't know if it's like that because I, I, I don't know, maybe this is the first time I've used these. I have lots of them. Um, but 
the actual um, top came off on all of them, so I just glued them down with some glossy accents. But I would just double check yours because you, I mean, the ugh, you don't want to ever give something to somebody and it falls apart. So that's like my biggest fear. Um, but yeah, you have magnetic closures here, but room for photo here, room for photo here, or the photo can go here. So the person has a lot of opportunity in this book. You definitely can fit a good 70, you know, depending upon the size, you can get like to a hundred if you collage or do smaller photos. I did this a little bit different where I left this open for a photo. So this is from the chipboard elements and I did just glue just a little bead of glue right here and you could tuck your photo in four by six and it flips out like that with a magnetic closure right there I do just have um, a ribbon pull on somewhere on kind of each um, signature but again nice big spot for a photo and then you have this here a little pocket this was from um, one of the cut apart sheets, 12 by 12 cut aparts. I did not do a six by six for any of this. It was all the 12 by 12 collection. I don't think I had the six by six in this because I got the boy later. Um, and this is a little booklet here like that. And then you have that. So I did supplement also with some solid cardstock from my stash. I just pick up Simple Story solid cardstocks and Echo Parks solid cardstock as well. And then I have a Graphic 45. This is from their die. I punch it out or um, cut it out in the pattern and then a white cardstock and glue the two together. So this is nice and sturdy and you could do four by four photos. You could journal. And then I do take my five eighths of an inch hole punch and my half inch hole punch to do the reinforcements on here because the die does a really big hole. You can leave it, but I don't like it. So I cover it up and then this opens up here again. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, eleven. 10, 11, let's see, 12, 13, 14. Just, you could do 14 good size photos just on this one spot here. So just to kind of show you guys. And then we have here, oh, the camera. This is going to kill me. I got to figure this out. Um, this is the back side. So you have five months and then six months. And this is left open to tuck the large, large photo. You could definitely do a five by seven. But let me just show you with, um, you know, a regular four by six photo. So you could just tuck that on there. You can do the white where you want the photo to go. These just, you know, it gets really bulky the more you add. But here is this. Trying really hard not to shake the actual <laughs> project. Um, so again, same thing here. This just slides out nicely. Just put it back in. And voila, there we go. Hope everyone is having, I really hope I can get this video up tonight. It's Friday, I don't know, maybe around like 7.30 p.m. Um, but hopefully you guys will be able to see this and you could craft this weekend. Do have some of those flat back um, brads from the collection. And then, let me move this out of the way. Opens up this way. Here, this was a scrap piece on the table, I left the border strip. It fit perfect and I like it. This is from the sticker sheet, sticker sheet, and I did mat it, both of them, with paper. And then you have a couple little photo spots. I think these are both, yeah, just plain photo mats. And again, just a simple graphic 45 tag in there. You could use any die really. Or it could just be a regular, you know, photo mat. You don't have to have all the things to make your projects pretty. And then this one lifts up and out. So here is the back. These are all scrappy scrappies. And then let me just, I know, I'm pretty sure I did these different because I just pulled the scraps off my table. But this one is five and a half. 
I think by like 10 and a half. Five and a half by ten and a half. Not that you guys can see anything I'm showing. And then you score at five and a quarter to get this little booklet. And it can go this way or this way. And that's so cute. I don't know what that is, but I don't like it. <laughs> I'm just going to say, is it a weird fungusy, mushroomy thing? that I don't like it. I, I don't like it. <laughs> I'm not going to say why, but I don't like it. And then there's a photo mat here. And this is four and a half by six and a half. Just be happy, you guys. If you would have had the videos from last night, I was it was it was like probably two three in the morning because my t my sleeping was just way off being sick, and <laughs> it's a good thing I'm remaking these because it was it was yeah it would have been funny. I don't know, I might have offended somebody if I kept it. I don't know, but <laughs> photo, you could do photos like this or photo like this. Lots of opportunities for photos. They could be two four by fours. Just, you know, have some fun with it. And then you have a pocket here and I have, this is just a little booklet, but it's four and one eight and it's twice. So that has to be eight and a quarter. Yeah, eight and a quarter. So four and one eighth by eight and a quarter and then scored at four and one eighth. If you want to do the exact same. And then here is a photo mat here. So we'll just tuck those back in the pocket. It's got some stickers. And just again to show you how it like all coordinates, because you got to coordinate like that. And it opens up here. You have your 11 month and this is a a tuck spot so you could do a photo here or your photos here in a little like tag with um, some journaling and then on this one I did um, a waterfall I don't I'm pretty sure I have not done a waterfall before on for this tutorial so it is what is this four and a quarter by six and three eighths four and a quarter six and three eighths six and three quarters not six and three eighths people and then you just score a half inch and I use this just you know as a little pull tab and you just stack them just the basic way to do the waterfall and um, I did put mine on I'd like to because I don't like seeing through if I don't have it lined up perfectly but I put mine on a base first so the base let me just kind of tell you it is four and a quarter by seven seven and a quarter but I typically I'll again I'll look on my table I'll cut it to the width first and I make sure it's long enough and then I cut off the excess if I'm doing it this way and not like uh, Michelle Allen's way or something but it's harder when you do vertical four by six to be able to do any that way and then again this is just from the bottom of the paper the branding strip I just went and picked some and cut through I still think it looks cute and there you go so that is um, the large 8 by 8 this is my most viewed project of my YouTube channel I don't even know where it's at now but um, the girl one versus the boy so everyone likes the girl <laughs> more than the boy um, but the one I do have on my channel and I'll link both the girl, the boy of the collection I have, because you might have that collection. And then I'll link the tutorial that I did in Simple Stories, Boho Baby, I think it was called. But it's cute. It's cute in any paper. It's It would be cute as a Christmas album. I might do that one time, because I was thinking you can get like the 25 um, days in there, I think. It, the way I counted all the flips and flaps. Um, but it's, it's just so cute. And I do my baby albums. You guys know I'm a freak. The covers, that's the art for me. Cause I picture these like sitting on a little dresser in a nursery up on a shelf. Just so cute. But there you guys go. Let me know what you think. I will have a few more videos coming at you soon this weekend. And I'm working on Valentine's. Um, and just make sure, did I show already? I think I did, but now I can't remember. Um, if I didn't, I had to have, right? Yes. Did I? I don't know. 
but just go on to Country Craft Creations. I will link the link below to get to the basics so you can see all the things that are offered for the brand new Echo Park um, Our Baby, Our Baby Boy, and Our Baby Girl. But there you guys go. Thanks so much for watching. If you did like this video, please give your girl a thumbs up. And if you have not subscribed, please make sure that you do so that way you can see future projects. Thanks for watching. Bye.